Oh. All right, hello everybody. I got Magda with me again today. We're going to talk about carnivore. We're probably going to talk about farming. Uh, we'll, we'll see where this goes. But anyway, welcome back to the channel. Hey Ryan, nice to see you again. Yeah. All right. So the one topic that everybody, the one thing, the, mo the most common question I got, or not com question, but comment that I got on that last video we did, was that you did carnivore wrong. And what do you have to say to that? Yeah, you know, this is one of the arguments uh, that um, the keto people and anti-vegan people and carnivore folks tell uh, th they are like mocking vegan movement that when someone leaves a vegan movement, you know, other vegans, they say he did it wrong. And like they say, you like you cannot do veganism correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what they they try to tell you that it's always wrong but also they say it, it, nobody who goes from vegan lifestyle quit and go carnivore never goes back to vegan and i was one of those people who did it right i know yeah. more people because some people contact me on instagram i know people in real life you know these people don't go on youtube they don't make videos so nobody hears about them they don't nobody knows their stories but yeah, when I quit carnivore and I was trying to trying to do my best, you know, they tell you like every time you do something, you feel you have some health issues, you have any problems, constipation, anything on this diet, they will tell you you need more fat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you or you don't need, you know, better quality meat. So I was trying to do my best. But when I quit, then, you know, all these people who was my followers on YouTube, for example, and they was my fans always you know giving me the best comments you know always following me and uh, w when i quit you know they started to tell me i did it wrong <laughs> yeah so yeah yeah well i what i see around you know like you can't do this correct because we are not carnivore obviously so i yeah. i saw in the comment section uh, after our last video that some people you know they are so religious about this um carnivore look like carnivore carnivore animal he just go and find some you know prey and he he just gonna eat what he gonna find what i see like when i i have a cat here one cat he came to live with us you know i i, I didn't take him i didn't buy him or something but he, what he brings sometimes it's a mouse and it's not even adult mouse it's a baby mouse that he found you know like an infant mouse yeah yeah and so he cannot even really catch you know easily yeah. So he found some weak, you know, animal, very small. He's afraid of chickens, by the way. Really? So, you know, when they tell you go on the lion, yeah, yeah, he doesn't want to get out of the house because I let the chickens to move around. And the chickens are coming here in front of our house. And when the cat he see the chickens, he's afraid to go out. I ch sometimes I'm, you know, I'm taking him and I'm trying to make him afraid of cats. He just scratched me like I have so much pain. He's so much in panic when he see chickens, you know, and people claim cat he has to eat beef. Yeah. Like how he would even catch a cow. <laughs> yeah, I've always cow. wondered that myself. No yeah. So, yeah. so carnival, you know, they just eat animals. There is not much, you know, about this. But this carnival movement will tell you you did something wrong. So you just eat meat, right? You are if you are carnivore, you just eat animals. That's it. What you can do wrong about this? They do the same oh, thing. Oh yeah, they keto. always said you. Yeah, if if, if keto again? didn't work for if the, if keto didn't work for you, then they tell you that you did that wrong too. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's uh, you know, on, this is like a cult. What I told you before, you. If someone is into this diet, what I see, you cannot talk with these people. They will not get away from this movement. They will not get away from this uh, beliefs. They are like, I don't know. It's They are like religious people. Even yeah. me, I didn't want to see that something is wrong about this lifestyle. I, I had a lot of symptoms and I was blaming all the time uh, plants that I ate them in the past and today on one um, Facebook forum again one carnival folk um, came to comment uh, to reply on my comments his name is Phil Escott or something I think I think he's somewhere on on YouTube and he claims to, and 
when you ask him if he can even run, you know, if he has any achievement, you know, like what this carnivore lifestyle gives to him, like what benefit he, he claims he can't run because he's still damaged from plants that he used to eat seven oh, years yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah, really like, uh, and after he claims he has to like drink alcohol in the evening. So, you know, this is typical carnivore lifestyle. You need What's... some stimulants. Oh, is that what the alcohol, oh, that they seriously need alcohol too? Yeah, yeah I don't know if, if much, but still, you don't know the truth if you don't live with someone, right? So, but he admitted it. So they, they still blame plants. <laughs> um, no, they don't, they don't accept we are not carnivores. Just look at our teeth, you know. This is just the first thing. It's so many different uh, reasons, you know, how our hands look. Like how we are born, we are born with open eyes. These carnivore animals, they have a uh, closed eyes on birth. They drink water with tongue. We drink water with lips, right? Yeah. We are so much different. We look d different. Yeah. Yeah, we do. And these carnivore animals, uh, you know, cut it sleeping most of the day. It doesn't do much in a day. No, and, no, they don't. This, these animals don't even live a long life. And today I, show, I saw Sean Baker. He posted some new videos like if you're going to go carnivore, you're going to live past 100 or even 120 years or something. They claim like this. No chance, no chance. Everybody around me, who I, every person that I know around me who was big fan of meat and mocking me on veganism, some of these people are already not here anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah. At, like my friend, he passed away at the age of 49 and he oh, was... Wow. Yeah, he was always trying to get, you know, the best salmon, the best beef, you know, eating even raw salmon, you know, sashimi uh, or some sushi with a little bit of rice. But, you know, his his health was just, you know, worse and worse and worse. And when he got to hospital, of course, in hospital, his, his health was even worse, it, like declined in a few days and he passed away. But he was a big fan of me, you know, he was telling me when I was running the first time I went vegan and I realized he's sick, I told him, maybe you would like to try this, you know, plant-based lifestyle, you know, try, you know, you, are, you have problems, give it a try. It was like, no, no, Magda, you know, carrot also has a feelings and this is, you know, that's it. So he took a risk and this is, you know, he left two children, didn't want to try, so... Yeah, so I did it wrong, <laughs> as I said. Yeah. What is a big philosophy about this? In, in vegan lifestyle, you can do it in so many different ways. Yeah? You have grains, you have different, you, you know, you have fruit, you have vegetables, you can a lot of, you have a lot of junk food, you have a lot of fatty desserts, wh which are still vegan. You have a lot of vegan burgers, which are very fatty. And depends how you choose, you know, how much you eat in a day. A lot of girls that I know, they eat so little, you know, they eat like a bird. Maybe mm, they eat 1,000 yeah. calories, 1,200, ca maybe 1,500 calories. So, of course, you know, their health will not be the best this way. So they was better off eating meat because meat maybe had more calories. So at least, you know, they was getting calories. But when they stop eating meat, they don't replace it with anything. Mm. And so you can make it, you can do it in so many different ways. And I know myself i was focusing focusing so much of it on eating kale you know yeah. spinach how because kale has so many nutrients they yeah say. yeah and how much kale you have to eat you know it's like 20 kale pounds or something like that yeah 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 just imagine and you know even if you go if you will manage to eat that you're gonna have all the issues maybe with your joints because it's so much you know it's green it's i i don't believe we are green eaters too much you know maybe mm -hmm. A little bit for sure, but not. Uh, we are not. Uh, we are not a cows, right? We are not a sheep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they got like four stomachs or four stomach walls, or they, I mean, they got a completely different setup than we do. Yeah, they look different. Uh, you know, they don't look like we. They yeah. have. Uh, they walk on four legs. You know, different animals. Yeah, and people don't uh, look into the fact that Eskimos, who have kind of been like carnivore example, the, the life expectancy of uh, Eskimos is only 65. 
So I don't know how they're going to tell us that you're going to live to 120 when the people who eat pri primarily meat and have for, you know, a long time, their life expectancy is 65. So I don't know where they're getting their numbers from. You know, they just made them numbers to promote it. I, I was listening today, uh, Dr. John McDougall, and he did a very good point. You know, all this protein thing, omega-3, um, calcium, it's just a marketing technique, you know, to sell the meat. So to sell the meat, they, you know, they, they don't care about truth. It's all about sales and marketing and you know they can you, you know paper it's very patient you can you can write anything you want you know you can write yeah. uh, you're gonna live on meat until you know 200 and there will yeah. be a lot of people who are gonna believe it you know i believed also you know that i'm gonna live uh, <laughs> longer yeah they, they speak so much about this longevity you know i think it's this is what i told you in the first video it's like a religion when they promise you some you know heaven after you know death yeah and here they will promise you you know now you're gonna suffer now you're gonna have all this diarrhea just look at there is one nice instagram account it's called carnival cringe and these people they they you know they copy paste the comments from carnival forums and this is this is incredible. You read about diarrhea, you know, about extreme constipation, allergies, headaches, vomiting. Yeah. You know, you you have to just eat more fat, <laughs> wait, and after, you know, you're going to live 200 years. Yeah. yeah Religion, it, right? Yeah, it, uh, it, like it preserves <laughs> you or something. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's it, absolutely nuts. I, I mean, I get comments like that all the time. Oh, you did it wrong, or you know, you didn't eat enough fat, or you didn't eat enough protein. I'm like, which one is it? You know? Yeah, and also now I was because I'm preparing some video for my Polish channel. I found uh, Durian Rade. He spoke uh, in some uh, few days ago about sumo, and I looked more in the, uh, sumo wrestlers. Mm. I looked into this, and yeah, they are not. They are never vegan, vegan or vegetarian. No, because they have to eat all this protein, you know, beef, beef, pork, uh, fish, uh, chicken, protein, protein, protein to gain weight, yeah, to have this, you know, the, this body weight. Uh, so, yeah, you have to suffer first, and after you go to heaven. <laughs> it's like this carnivore. <laughs> after you go to carnivore heaven. Yeah. Did you ever deal with parasites? Because that, that's one thing that I dealt with on, on keto. Did you ever uh, deal with like parasites and worms and, and stuff like that? Um, I, I, I had a few food poisonings. Like I just woke up at night and I vomit and I went back to bed. But one time I had food poisoning to the level I, I told you before that I yeah. was extremely sick and... When they checked my, you know, my stool, and they also checked my blood, they found some lamblia gad, yeah. Sure. So yeah, something like the it was, yeah. I I haven't, you know, I haven't noticed any kind of parasites like this time, but you know, it didn't happen. But yeah, extreme food poisonings that I told you also before, like one month or longer. <sighs> And you know, and I still continue after this carnivore. Just yeah, imagine. Yeah, I don't great. know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to me. How I could even believe it? You know, still I have trauma from this. Like it's so disgusting. I wish I never done it. Do you Comparing think you to the vegan lifestyle that I have now, you know. Do you think you have side effects from it? Yeah. Um. Side effect now. Um, yeah. I think it destroyed my metabolism also, you know, because not eating carbohydrates. I don't I don't see any actually health issues right now. Just this, you know, psychology uh, issue and side effects. Like, you know, I, I think it harmed my relationships around, you know. And, uh, you know, because it's a little bit strange, you know, to be also raw meat eater. 
mm. in the society and I was I think I wasn't the kindest person you know uh, it, it, as I told you I got into some law troubles you know because I, I, I looked at the life different way that time and yeah I, I would I would take different decision if I wasn't this carnivore for sure I, I think I have much more clean mind when I'm now eating vegan. Mm. I'm more a reasonable person. And as a woman also, you know, I, I, I feel now like a you no know, decent woman. Before, I, I... disgusting. Mm. <laughs> Just imagine to meet a woman which you eat raw meat. Yeah. Someone told me, you know, about some 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 guys. They told me that I have some strange smell. Some of them they liked it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, some of them they told me like, you know, it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not ple pleasant to to you know you yeah. smell some it's something strange, you know. That's for sure. Even I could smell yeah. myself sometimes, you know that. It's, so much especially from this you know from this uh, female you know organs yeah, yeah. I, I could smell it like I, I i i was sometimes embarrassed to go somewhere because i knew people are gonna smell it but oh, i wow. thought it's normal you know it's like some pheromone pheromones or something you know yeah that's <sighs> that, and that's none crazy. of this carnival none of this carnival promoters if you see this major promoters none of them are farmers no so, Another thing, they claim to be carnivore and they just go to supermarket, you know, to, to, to get the ready thing. And after they eat with knife and fork, <laughs> <laughs> not like carnivore animal. Yeah. <laughs> if you are carnivore, you would not need a knife, right? No. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of, of, far, of farmers too, they, they want to say that there's a lot of animals harmed in like making grain and, and stuff like that, but they don't tell you that the same grain is being fed to the animals that you're eating anyways. The, I mean, you had, you had some uh, hand in that, right? You, you, you dealt with it. Yeah. So I, I wanted to be independent from the system <laughs> Yeah. and I thought I'm going to have my own farm. So, you know, what you are thinking about it going to come to your life probably. And it happened to me. I became a kind of far a farmer actually, and I also um, I also um, got into some uh, like friendships around with some farmers, and I was hanging around on the farms. So I realized, even if farmer is grazing animals, mm -hmm. all of these farmers they buy animal feed, they they feed um goats with grains yeah gold yeah. this animal which it's supposed to eat plants yeah so even if the farmer was moving around and grading them they had to he has to still feed them and sometimes he was giving some watermelons to them but also potatoes you know oh, i saw that i saw him feeding yeah whatever he can find whatever what, whatever plants you know uh he could find he feed them so uh potatoes just imagine it's a food that we human can eat yet yeah? after they tell you you know we we, we don't have enough food to feed yeah. human yeah. population they say eight billion i don't believe this eight billion by the way i think it's also made up number just to make you afraid that we are you know too many so to give you a reason to depopulate us yeah yeah exactly by basically killing us yeah. But they, they feed goats with potatoes and this farmer was complaining so many times, especially during summer. I don't know in the winter, but th during the summer, this goat, they didn't have any lactation. So there oh. was like so many days he had like, I don't know, 150 goats, maybe 200 and no, you know, no milk. So you <laughs> have to feed animals <laughs> every day. You take potatoes, you take watermelon, the human food. Yeah. He feed them, you know. Also, as I told you before, goats have something in saliva. This Damascus goat. I don't know other species of goats, but the maybe I will try to get a picture. Maybe you can attach after to your video. The, you know, I see some olive trees that we have here. They are not growing back after two years. Nothing. Oh, wow. Where they? Yeah, yeah. They are, you know, the the bottom when the goat was man, the goats managed to eat to bite them. They are empty and 
only the tree is growing where they didn't manage, you know, to get the like higher branches. So this is one thing. Chickens, they say chickens, you're gonna have uh, chickens in the garden, free range chickens, and we have them. The chickens, they cannot find too much, you know, even if we have quite huge land here, they still come to us and they ask for food to give them something. So you have to feed them uh, all the farmers buy this food for chickens, animal feed grains again, and there is corn inside, there's soy inside, there is wheat inside, everything. Yeah. There, this is actually our bread. They eat our bread. Yeah. Right? Okay, so another thing, they say we vegans, our <laughs> we kill more animals than meat eaters yeah yeah i've been hearing this just, Im just imagine just imagine look we have some fruit trees here we are doing some gardening here and nobody no no animal get killed yeah. you know, some some farmers they use, use some uh, sound uh, uh i don't know how to call it sound uh, thing, something that is giving some voice that the birds are afraid maybe to come to the trees yeah some of them they use i know but first of all, most of the farmers that are not even vegan. They don't care, you know, for animals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they don't care. Another thing is, uh, yeah, another thing is human takes all the land from animals. They have no much space to go and find the fruit, you know, everywhere. Motorways, new supermarkets, new houses, new warehouses. All the time, you know, we take more and more land from them. Yeah. Um, Animal has always chance if there will be a tractor working around a rabbit or any animal has some chance always to run away. No animal has a chance, you know, to run away from slaughterhouse. <laughs> we have fruit trees. We don't we don't have any traps here. We don't care. We have some rabbits like wild rabbits which came here. We don't really care, you know. They don't eat fruit trees anyway. Yeah. Um so it's not like that. I, I believe you, it can't be done done without, you know, any damage. Like this carnival people just want to make people to not go vegan. They want to, you know, they want to keep meat industry, meat business, you know, running. But, oh, you know, here is one farmer that when I told him I want to, he has a sheep, mm -hmm. a lot of sheep. When I told him I want to be a farmer, he was like, come on. He, he just dreamed to stop this business. You know, he's tired of this all yeah. his life, the same morning, afternoon, evening, feeding sheep, milking them every day, the same. It's not easy job. You cannot leave this farm. You have to be every day there. You cannot even go for one, you know, day somewhere. Um, and this farmer, he was actually the one who, who was telling me like, why you are carnivore? He believes that human is like a horse more. Like we're supposed right. to live on plants. Yeah, yeah. So no, you know, even when I was telling you about, you know, the Bill Gates, he wants you to stop farming, you know, New World Order, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. He yeah. was like, I don't care. I, I, I don't care to have this farm anymore. <laughs> you know, so yeah. it's not an easy job. It's, it's not, not a dream job. It's not, it's not yeah. a dream job. But also my father, he comes from farming family. You know, everybody wanted to run away from this village and go to the city to have easier lives. Yeah, everybody that's how the city is. Yeah. Farming. Yeah, people got tired of it. You know, it's mass mass farming now. But then yeah. at the same time, you know, if you got mass farming like that, they can control it easier. Ah. Uh, so. Yeah, but, I, but the, as I told you, this animal, they eat a lot of food. I saw how much, you know, how much one gold she can eat per day. So a lot of, like we say, you people feel that feed them our bread, like all these grains are our bread, carbohydrates. Yeah. Why, why not to eat it directly? And on, and also I'm moving around on bicycle a lot, a lot. And I see all these farms around, they are hidden somewhere, you know, in the valleys, in the places like nobody is going there. They look so nasty. Uh, all the all the area around is just you know like um, Sahara. Nothing it's around. Doesn't look you know like it gives some life to Earth. 
It's just no, destroyed no, the life. No, they always look. They always look terrible. And, and you, you, I can only imagine how many like I don't know potatoes, watermelon, corn, whatever that can grow on that land. And that land's probably pretty fertile actually too, because the the, the cows have been on it, and the goats and the whatever has been on it, so it's probably pretty fertile land. So probably, oh, I probably have good they, stuff going on. I will not. We are not sure because we was great seeing the goats here, and yeah. it was you know pooping around. We don't see, you know, and actually there is nothing growing special there. Like, it doesn't give some life to the soil. And if you put manure from chicken too early, it will burn actually the soil. Yeah, it does, yeah. And I, I, I don't know if you've heard about this, but there are some people like um, who are, you know, env environmentalists yeah. who say that this Syria war, it started because of this overgrazing of sheep there. So the farmers, they started to fight with each other, you know, when they move oh, around, wow. they, they have a problem. To, if there is more farmers, they have a fight, yeah, who gonna go where with the goats or the sheep. And so they say the original conflict started because overgrazing of sheep and the land became just, you know, desert. Oh, wow. I, yeah. Check, like check crazy. this out, yeah. Like, no, no, carnival people will not tell you about this. Yeah. So much, you know misinformation yeah it's crazy how many people starve to death because the food that they're growing is 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 going to livestock and then they tell us that you know growing uh you know potatoes is causing too much co2 i mean and then you know if you if you look at the uh, like a google maps or something there's more greenery now than there was like 50 years ago, but they're trying to tell us that there's, you know, the, the trees are dying and there's deforestation and CO2 is bad for us. I, I mean, CO2 literally gets turned into oxygen uh, by trees. So I don't know how, I don't know how it's bad. CO2 is alive. I believe when they say they want to reduce CO2, they, oh, yeah, they want to life. reduce life. Yeah. 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 And then they, it's just, it's, they want to reduce life. You know, this is what they mean. I think this is so creepy. I know, I know it sounds creepy, but you now I started to think this way that this is like some people have just like these ideas. You know, CO two it's a part of photosynthesis. Yeah, and I, I hear like in some schools, in some schools they're gonna remove now from the books this fact, so children will not learn that photosynthesis contains the CO two. You know, it's a. Uh, but yeah. So if you are meat eater, you know, you kill double if you still want to claim like, you know, you, you kill animals in the crop. So you, you kill double, you kill animal in the slaughterhouse and you kill animal in the crops, right? You kill double. Yeah, and, and performance I don't, I, goes way down too. Yeah. You know, like it, like if you're if you're an athlete, performance goes way down when you're when you're eating nothing but meat. It's I don't know why people want it. I just don't know. You know, not only are you killing double the animals, but you're actually you you can't perform yourself at all. Like I, I remember, I was always living on on stimulants when I was on on keto or carnivore or whatever version of of it I was doing. I mean, I I used to stock the stuff up. I used to have bottles of. Uh, a federal caffeine and aspirin or just, you know, caffeine or whatever. Cause I, I don't like coffee all that much at all. Uh, I, I don't know how they can't see that that's not normal. Obviously I, I've also um, was um, uh, listening about Carl Lewis, you know, the one oh, of the yeah. best runners in a history. And he met, uh, he met Dr. John McDougall once. And he gave him copy of his book, A Starch Solution or McDougall Plan. I'm not sure which one, but then he went fully plant-based and he started to base his diet on starch and he broke his records and he just got better and better. Yeah, definitely. I'm cycling now every day Yeah. between 25 kilometers and 100 kilometers on my every road day. bike in the mountains, in the hills. You know, from last, from our last interview, our last conversation, it was like three weeks ago. Yeah, something. Yeah. I, I think I did, I did like 800 kilometers, 700 oh, wow. kilometers, maybe. Yeah, I, I'm, you know, on Monday after our, we were talking on Sunday, I think on Monday I got a bike 
and I started the same day. I went just 80 kilometers and every day, every day, and only the weather. If the weather conditions are not the best, I will not go. But it gives me so much power. I, I don't get tired. I go sometimes elevation gain. Sometimes I have 1,200 meters, 1,500 meters. It's a lot. Oh, wow. That's a lot. It gives so much power. It gives so much power, you know. I, I see the power of carbohydrate, sugar, starches. It's just incredible. I'm going to continue, you know. I, I want to see how much I can do. But it gives me so much motivation. I sleep so much better. I don't need any stimulants. I don't crave tobacco. I don't crave any, you know, coffee, cigar, alcohol, no alcohol in my life. Nothing. I don't want these things. I just want to perform better on my bike. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so how much sugar do you, do you add into your diet? Uh, depends on the day, how I feel. Sometimes I don't feel like I want sugar. You know, so it's not addictive how they say, you know, yeah, like you have to yeah. take every day because you're going to be shaking you yeah. know, or something. <laughs> yeah. No, um, yeah. you know, I think um, between 100 grams and 300 grams per day, I oh. add something like this, mostly in the water uh, while I'm cycling, mm. but also I do every day in the morning smoothie orange smoothie last days and I when, I like the smoothie when it's super sweet so I will put sugar but I just you know I just put the sugar I don't measure anything I yeah. just you know I, I just pour it um, yeah but I, I it's not like I push myself sometimes I don't want something sweet uh, sometimes I want more and yeah there is no uh, addiction you know like <laughs> from drugs that you're going to think I want to get a sugar, you know, because I'm going to get crazy or something. No, I, I get yeah. it just to, I'm testing it also, you know, it's my experiment. Actually, it's like seven or eight months already. Every day I, 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 I use the sugar, maybe a few days I didn't use, but I don't see any side effects. The only side effect is I have more power, better mood. Um, everything is better. <laughs> So do you concentrate more on performance, I guess, than than uh, than anything else? Are you, are you concentrating more on, on performance and weight loss or anything? Yeah, and you know, I'm, I um, I gain weight from all this, you know, intermittent fasting. Uh, my metabolism slowed down, and I got uh, seventy nine kilograms mm. maximum. And my normal weight is, I think, like sixty nine, sixty eight. Let's say. But you know what? I, I see last days it's uh, going down. It's like 77, you know. Uh, I think I gained some muscles as well from all this, you know, climbing, climbing on the bike yeah. for sure. for sure. But it's not the sugar doesn't make you the weight stopped for now. So and I don't limit myself. What I did, I go to bed 9, 9.30 maximum. So I don't eat after. When I If I will stay longer, you know, awake, in the evening, probably I'm going to grab some food again because I'm going to feel I'm going to be hungry. So I prefer to go sleep earlier to do this fasting during the night, you know, yeah. the break for the body. And I wake up in the morning and I eat again. So this is what I'm doing. I'm drinking more water. Um, and I see the way that I'm happy it's not growing. It's not growing like yeah, it doesn't yeah. exceed 80 or something. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know this this when you are not super overweight it's not easy to this last kilograms are not easy to to drop you know about this you drop so much and after it's not easy yeah the first but... 150 pounds is easy and then then you know the rest of it's not that easy yeah but you didn't gain it back right you don't have no. your, your, your no, yeah so you know, because i read comments on your channel and people claim you know uh, and also they said about me, I'm fat, you know, that you are yeah. fat and me, I, why we are talking about losing yeah. weight. Yeah, yeah. You know, you need, you need a bigger picture, now I know. And you are not gaining back, so it's a lot, because other people that I know around me who are dieting, they lose, they get super skinny, and after, pff, the same. And all the time, you know, you don't have this, so... No, I, I, I used to go through that all the achievement, time. achievement, what you did. Yeah, I used to go through that all the yeah, time. Yeah, but for now, down. you know... Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to go through that all the so time. I would get down to 225, and then I would shoot back up to 300. 
and then I get to like 215 and I would shoot up to 300. I mean, it was crazy. I was always all over the place. And now I finally just, it, it's not like that anymore. It's not, it just stays off now. It, you know, I haven't lost a ton, but I haven't really actually been trying either. Yeah, but I, I, I think it's a great success and the proof that this carbohydrates doesn't make you gaining weight. Yeah. yeah if you don't eat too much fat. Yeah. Oh. What else about this? Yeah, I, I really encourage people to try, but they are so afraid everywhere on internet or social media. You know, it's so difficult to find one person who is not afraid of sugar. Yeah, it's crazy. Of and sugar, if you, yeah, of, of potatoes, of potatoes. I pet, yeah, I mean, people <laughs> are scared of potatoes, uh, you know, and they did so many studies, the Soviets, the Russians, the uh, people in Denmark. I think Netherlands, they did all those studies on potatoes and everybody always lost weight, even when they were adding uh, so much butter too. And, but these people still lost weight and now people are terrified of potatoes. It's, it's nuts. It's yeah, hard to watch. They blame, you know, potato. Yeah. no chance. It doesn't, doesn't make you gain weight. No chance. If you don't put fat, I don't believe. But uh, even when they did, it doesn't work. yeah, even when they did, the people were losing weight. The Khan study that what you know, you just referenced McDougal. McDougal references the Khan study all the time. They literally fed these people nineteen hundred calories a day just of fat, just fat alone, plus the potatoes, which I don't know how many calories the potatoes were, and they still were losing weight. Well, yeah, I think so. If someone doesn't have you know maybe damaged metabolism, I, I think it will work this way because potatoes doesn't have too much protein. Uh, I was reading about sumo today, because I told you uh, yeah. what they eat. They, yeah, protein, 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 definitely. Of course, there is a lot of fat as well, but yeah, protein. So there is not much protein in these potatoes. Mm -mm. One percent only. I think it's one. Yeah, one percent. One gram, I think. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's one percent protein and one percent uh, fat, and the rest is whatever water and carbs. Yeah, so I'm between, you know, I'm between McDougal and Durian Ryder style. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I want to make experiment and to live on, only on maybe potatoes for a few days or a few weeks. I've tried and that. I, I, yeah. I want to try. Yeah, maybe if you actually That's for make the it. channel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you actually do it, let, let me know. Maybe we'll, we'll talk about that. I've tried it. I could not make it. I did it like a day and I'm like, no, I can't. I can't do this. Mashed potatoes with gravy are so nice. They actually. are until you. That's and all you easy got. to do, easy to make, you know. Yeah. Uh, they like like the rice noodles, for example, and then I like rice, so it's difficult to say because you have a f choice of food. But if I have to eat only potatoes, and I believe potatoes is a food that can save us for our future. Because I think they are easy to grow, you know. They, they don't need maybe, yeah. maybe the best weather com com conditions. So uh, that's why they maybe say potatoes are, you know, your enemy. Because this is how people survive the wars, you know, or the starvation periods on potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to try, but also I know it's, you know, I have cravings for other foods too. Yeah, the second um, you do it, but you Today I had everything. like two times... I, for, but I eat like two times per day for sure mashed potatoes with this gravy. This oh, gravy is really? so easy, you know. You just, I just bought granulated gravy. Yeah, I got granulated gravy. You put just w boiling water. You just stir it and you put it on your potatoes. Delicious. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fantastic wow. food. Check my Instagram. Yeah, you know? I, I yeah, did see really it the other easy. day. I didn't realize it was uh -huh. granulated. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's all, it was three euros, like three dollars, let's say. And you have so much from this, so... No, it's, it makes potatoes very attractive, mm. but I like them even without anything. <laughs> yeah, I like baked potatoes. <laughs> Those are pretty good, oh, too. Oh, oh, even if I boil them, if I will not put anything, you know, or maybe a little bit of salt, I can eat them like this. Sometimes before I will mash them, I will start eating them. Yeah, yeah, same here. You yeah. Know, just like this. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> Polish, you know, in Poland, Poland it's so potato country people oh, i know i know yeah there's a lot of polish around a lot of polish around here so yeah i see potatoes everywhere a lot of a lot of the, you know yeah. potatoes and 
I don't. But there's no, a place up the up the street that sells nothing but pierogies and uh, cupcakes. I think that's like the weirdest combination. <laughs> cupcakes. I don't. I don't eat sell. cupcakes. But uh, pierogi. I did few the few weeks ago. I tried. We call them Russian pierogi. Yeah. They are like inside with potatoes and with onion. Oh, okay. uh, some people use cheese. Yeah. Usually they are with cheese, but I just put the potatoes uh, and onion. It's the same taste. And obviously I don't eat cheese no. for a few reasons, ethical reason. And I don't want to get fat also. And I don't want to get all these hormones you know, yeah. from animals. And it's disgusting for me now, you know. Ah, by the way, a proper farming, I had the goats, you know, with the a purpose of milking them. Yeah. And then I realized if you come to the goat and you want to touch her, you know, in her, you know, breast, they don't want it. And I started to think, oh, my God, this is like, you know, intimate, you know, this yeah. is a sexual organ of animals. This is a little bit crazy. It is weird. I know the people, I know carnivore and anti-vegan, they will say that we are creepy or something wrong with us because we think it's not, it's normal, you know, milking, but it's a sexual organ of animal. The farmer farmer he has a special cage in the farm he push all the goats they are like in the line waiting they already know they are they are they have they're gonna be milked every day and every goat he has to come into this cage he closed the cage he put special device for milking on 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 the you know teeth on the breast yeah and when he finished she is released and another has to come in the cage so it's not so you know natural another thing that they don't want it, you know. This is their body, you know. I want to stay away. So I make pierogi just with potatoes and onion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a good combination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is this lifestyle, it's so tasty. It's it so is. fun. There's so much variety, too. I mean, I don't know why people say there's no variety in it. Oh, it's so much. It's just, uh, you know, I'm a little bit stocked here. I have some pasta. I have rice noodles. I have uh, rice. I have some groat, a lot of things. I don't know what to choose because all of this is so delicious. Some lentils also. It's so delicious. And while this carnivore people, they have to eat everyday liver. You know, they have to eat everyday meat, meat, yeah. meat. Uh, and they tell you, you know, when you go vegan, you have no choice of food. Come on, it's much it's open your imagination, you know. Yeah, Just, there's so much wow. to eat. Yeah. So much. It's now the best lifestyle, really. I regret so much I left it. I, I would think... be, I, I would I would be now maybe like eight years vegan already. I believe my life would be, you know, in a different level, but whatever. At least I can share with you and some other people about mm -hmm. this strange lifestyle. Yeah. Death style, actually, I would say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's terrible. Yeah, I, I mean, I I I did that for ten years. I don't know how I managed to make it that long. As I told you, I did it almost three years, just because. And I see, I hear today on one Polish podcast, one new carnivore person is promoting it, that you have to give a try, at least two years. So you know, everybody has this symptoms, diarrhea, maybe some gout symptoms, some muscle cramps, some, a lot of different problems, but they gonna give it, they, they will do it for two years anyway, because this guru told them, you know, these people say you have to be two years, otherwise, you know, you have still problems because you ate uh, an apple two year, one year ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, true. But that's why you have diarrhea maybe <laughs> today. Yeah, it's, I, I know what I'm saying, it sounds, you know, maybe silly, but it's the truth, you know, this is how, if you look on the forum, they are like this. Yeah. And, and they're the most vicious, the, they're the angriest people on the internet. Uh, I thought uh, vegans were angry, but then you got the carnivores and they, they attack everybody. They attack yeah, each especially other. When, especially when you're going to leave a uh, carnivore, they're going to attack you so much. You yeah. Know? They will not be your friend anymore. And I have to say that some vegan people, they were still my friends, you know, so it's not, um, it depends. I think in vegan movement and in carnival movement are good, uh, you know, normal people and a little bit crazy people, both sides, I have no, to say. Yeah. But also this, I don't believe human can be healthy without empathy. 
you know, empathy, it's a part of human nature, right? It's, we are not only body, we are also, you know, so we are also mind. So they never say, they never show anything about what animals are going through. You know, they avoid all this graphic content and people go for carnival. I, I believe if they will show, look, do you want to go gar carnival? You know, it's fantastic diet, but if they show also first some footage from the farms, some footage from slaughterhouses, some knowledge about these things, I, I think many people would give up this idea, you know, of going carnival. People think that uh, the meat comes from supermarket, you know, it grows there. Yeah, like grows in that plastic. Yeah, uh, a human to search a health with stomach full of these animals who didn't want to die, you know, I know. screamed for their life. Uh, no chance, it's a, you know, I didn't think this way, but today it's obvious, you know, human which has empathy, right? It's, it's a proper human, right? It, what is humanity about? It's about mercy, it's about, about empathy, about helping each other. It's about helping animals from distance. It's, you know, we are, we are the protectors. So yeah, this ethical aspect for sure, it's important. And also this ethical aspect uh, helps people to stay on vegan lifestyle. I believe mm -hmm. if they don't have this ethical aspect, they went only for health reasons, you know, they will do veganism wrong. Let's say they will eat low carbohydrates, not enough calories. They're going to give up quickly. They will not dig deeper. So for sure, if someone goes vegan, I think he, he should find someone who is many years on vegan lifestyle and successful and to follow this kind of people or get a coach maybe, you know, or get some books from people who are successful, definitely. Alone is a little bit difficult. I know I did it wrong before. I know how mm. you can fail. Yeah. Mm. You have to find someone, you know, who is successful to, to help you, you know to get out from all the, to, to get through all this misinformation. That's what I'm trying to do with this channel. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Perfect. All right. So, uh, thank you for being on. I, I will put all your, uh, links down in the description section so that people can check you out if they didn't see the first one. And, uh, thanks for being on. Thank you, Ryan. Have a great afternoon. See you next time. <laughs> yeah. See you next time. All right. So a any, anyway, uh, comments, questions down below, like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.